Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back once again to the beautiful world of Hogwarts. We are back in Minecraft Harry Potter, and today, as you can see, I've gone back to Hogwarts. Well, I was in Hogwarts, but I went back to Grimmauld Place and delivered the Basilisk Toot to Mundungus Fletcher. I figured you guys didn't want to see that. Nothing, uh, nothing much happened. We just went there, given the thing, and collected the money. We got 400 gold for that, so all in all, I think the trip was worth it very, very much. But today, we are going to do some good old exploring, and our first order of business is that little place over there, the Owlery. So, if you remember, I've been wanting to go there for quite a while. Not that the Owlery is particularly a very intriguing location. I just think it is a cool location that we can see. What is this here? And we already we're already up to a good start in which I got lost in a random place out in the middle of Hogwarts. And there we go. Okay, yeah, we're not that lost. Just a little Ooh! Hedwig! Hello! Oh poor Hedwig. Oh is that it, it is a snitch. I got a snitch. Alright, but let's go. Let's move on to the Owlery. And, luckily enough, the places I want to visit today are quite close to one another, so... Alright, so... I guess we're going to drop down here and we're, we're going to follow the way as best we can. So, let's move out. I am having so much fun with this map. You guys already know that, most likely. And if you are, please, while we're making our way to the Owlery, consider leaving a like, a comment, and, if you'd be so kind to go the extra mile, a subscribe to the channel. We are ever so close to our goal of 50 subscribers. The due date is July the 23rd, but, well, we'll see if we're able to get there in time. Hey, it's getting night time, speaking of time. Oh! Cho Chang and one of the Patil twins, I imagine. Hmm. Alright, I need to get this letter to my friend in London, but my owl hasn't returned yet. And it's not as if I can just put it in the mailbox here at Hogwarts, there isn't one. I could deliver it to you. Could I? Yeah, I, I could. She spends a lot of time around the Jubilee Gardens by London Eye. You might be able to find her there. Just tell her what you did and I'm sure she'll give you something for your troubles. <laughs> Alright. And which... Oh, no. Okay, so you're no one, apparently. Alright! Yeah, as I was mentioning, I do not expect a lot of super secret stuff in the Owlery. But I just want to see what I've done with the place. It's just... It's an underexplored place in Hogwarts, but honestly, it's a very central location, because... I mean, wizards have their whole correspondence system based around owls, so you'd figure that the place that houses said owls would be at least... Oh, here's a snitch, just as I predicted. And there's a lot of open doors. Ah. Okay, so basically this just loop around. There's no way to get there. There's another piece of courtyard here that leads me to this place here. Ooh. This is a safety hazard if ever I saw one. And I have, because I have a degree that has taught me sad things in university. So, my first degree actually deals with this kind of things. Okay, so I guess this is the Owlery. Well, that was anticlimactic. A bit, actually, I gotta say, but it, it is as it is. I am not disappointed. And as always, the construction looks amazing. Not something that I could even attempt to do in Minecraft. I mean, I could if I had a guide. Oh! Yeah, I could if I had a guide, but... Yeah, there are no guides for this sort of thing. And before we move on, I just want to cheat a little bit. I want to set the time today, and we're going to go to the magnificent 
the magnanimous Quidditch pitch. This, this is the cream de la cream. I know I butchered the expression. It was intended to be butchered. All right. Now this we have to explore first from the ground up. All right, so these are the tents where people kind of have their preparation before matches. Ah, got a bludger and a quaffle. And I got a yet another snitch. These things are everywhere. My god, and another chest. Don't mind if I do. Some coins, a strength potion and quidditch goggles. Ah. That's nice. Alright, so these are the tents, I imagine. We have an entrance here. I just want to check to see if there's anything else around here. Alright, doesn't seem so. There was a quest here, and I believe these are the twins. Oh no, they are not. Oh, one of them is a Gryffindor mm. at least. Ah, Oliver Wood! What about him? Mm. Maybe come back when you've learned to fly and have a broom. Mm. Oh, I need a broom. Oh, I don't know, man. I I don't really know. Okay, let's check the stands first. Let's. Oh, there's a chest there. Aha! And the wizard's card. All right. We're finding these left, right, and center. This is really cool. I'm not going to do a hunt for all of them. At least not on camera, but... Ah, oh, look at that! I mean, how would these seats see anything? It's beyond me. I mean, assuming these seats are seats, like, you wouldn't be able to check the rest of the... That's why Quidditch is such an important event in Hogwarts. I mean, like, you have to get here early to get the best seats, otherwise you'll just not have seats, proper seats to, to watch the game. I don't know, would you guys play Quidditch? Like, if Hogwarts was a thing and we were there, would you play Quidditch at all? I honestly don't think I would. If we're going by comparison's sake, Quidditch could be compared to Muggles football. And honestly, I was never too keen on football myself. I'm not a very sports guy myself. But I don't think, just for the sheer danger that Quidditch represents to the players, I just... Oh, look at this. I imagine this is how one feels... Ah, and there's a snitch over here. <laughs> I imagine this is how one feels when standing in the center of a football field and just, like, experiencing the sheer grandeur of the stadium, like, just around... Ah, the, the, this, this is the thing. Look at these details. Like, this didn't, this didn't need to be here. But it is, like, where Harry goes with Malfoy in, in book two. In the match where Harry loses his arm after Gilderoy Lockhart so expertly. So, yeah, I mean... I myself wouldn't really play. Okay, what are mm -hmm. you doing? There's a reward. Mm. What do you want me to do? We figured you want to prank the Slytherins, you know, get in their heads. There are loads of Slytherin banners in the spectator tower above us. We want you to replace them with Gryffindor banners to mess with the Slytherins. Alright, for money, my dear, for my dear love, I'll do anything. Alright, swap out all the Slytherin banners. And against Slytherins, I'll do even more. Now, that's a place I want to go. And I'll be going there probably next episode. I don't know. I said I wasn't going to go there, but I kind of feel like going there. And it's related to Slytherin. I guess you guys can see what I'm going at. Because I once refused to go there, but now that we're close to the end of the series, I think it's... I think it's a good time as any to go there. 
to just explore the place because it is a place that was not really present you know in in the series both the movies and the and the books it was hardly ever mentioned in the first like four to five books maybe yeah it, it became a more prevalent location there we go ah and the snitch it became a more prevalent prevalent location in book six and seven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah it's not exactly so yeah if you couldn't guess i am wanting to go to malfoy manor now I don't know if I should go there now or just wait for next episode. I don't know. I mean, where can we go? I'm sure this will give us a message of you wander too far. You will be sent back. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, turn back if you've wandered too far. Now, there is actually another place I want to go. And since we are in Hogwarts... I want to go there now. I want to try to. I want to try to find it. Where is? Um. Where is? The. I guess training grounds. I'll, I'll go to the train. I know the training grounds are closed, but I'm a little bit lost now, so. I'll just go to the training grounds and I'll try to get a bird's eye view. What do you want, Madam mm. Hooch? I want to fly a lap. No, no, I, I, I actually don't. I actually do not. Where are you? Hmm. Ah, Zachariah Smith. Oh, bloody hell. No, hmm. you can... No, hmm. no, actually, no. You can hmm. deal with those yourself. Thank you. All right, so I don't know if coming here was a good idea, but I want to find the Whopping Willow. Now I know he's out there somewhere, and maybe I should have gone to check. Wait, maybe this could be it. Like, let's 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 try and find it because I know. Be Thanks to the um, to the fast travel locations that okay this is still the road to Oxmeade like oh yeah and I've gone to the road to Hogwarts but no the Whomping Willow is not here I imagine hmm because in the movies it's kind of never explicit not neither in the books actually. In in the second movie, they make it so they make it seem like the Whopping Willow is just right there. Like you go through an arch and just and you just you're just there. But then in the in the in the third movie, it's like further beyond the, the school. Like you get the full view of the school when you're on the Whopping Willow. And, and that's the thing, that's what makes it a little bit harder to to really pinpoint the location, because... I mean, I guess I could go check the wiki, but it's not like the wikis are going to be super specific about it. Like, I'm sure it will be somewhere near this area, like... It's not that... But it should it should be somewhere around here. But it's also not on the Forbidden Forest. That's the thing. It is not there. Wait, is night time again? Jesus Christ. Um that is really, really weird because And also I was trying to picture it from the Hogwarts Mystery game perspective. Not that the game is a hundred percent accurate on its depiction of the game, but ooh, what is this? Ah, oh. I don't know if we found this before. Did we? 
I know it's a forbidden forest, but what is this? Okay, I have no knowledge of the of the existence of said outpost. Maybe we can call this an outpost. I don't know. Okay, it's just just really a bunch of crates really doing nothing. But alas, it's world building. I mean, there's probably loot here, so let's. Let's thoroughly check every inch of this place, whatever it may be. Really, what is this? I mean, I guess they do have... They, they are granted some creative freedom when designing the map, but... Now I'm curious, because I don't really know what this is. Okay, but never mind. I am on the hunt for a tree. It's a very specific tree. Oh, oh, and here we are. <laughs> Getting lost ever so. Oh, there's a dungeon. Oh god, there's there's a dungeon. All right, here I go. Ah! Fuck me! Thank, thank goodness I'm in creative, like... Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even gonna change, because... I just wanna see what this is. It's creepy. It's very creepy, let, let's... Let these skeletons be, poor things. There's a chest, so there's loot. Okay, yet another rusty sword, and the skull, and another breastplate. Alright, it was just a dungeon. Okay, <laughs> just a basement with some skeletons and some loot. Alright, let's fly low now, see if we can find anything else. I do fear that the music might be a little bit loud. But alas... Oh, ingredients. Alright. I don't know if we've been this way before. Just so sorry. I always forget to check the, the volume. Okay, we... Because it's a bit hard to, to know exactly what we have and haven't explored. Because that, that's another thing, in the third movie as well, the Whopping Willow is closely connected to the, to the Forbidden Forest. No, we, we, we came around to the... We came around to the Quidditch pitch. So yeah. You know what my best option is? Actually, I just, I just thought of that. My best option is just to go to Hogsmeade. And no, not Secrets. No, go back. My best option is just to go to Ogsmead. Like, get to Ogsmead proper and just find the Shrieking Shack. <laughs> really? It's really just my best option. Like, and since I'm there... Oh, oh god. Since I'm there, I can always just... Ooh, god. My PC does not like the Ogsmead area. Wait, is this it? No, it can't be it. No, okay, it's not it. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was just like, okay, it can't be it. Yeah, no, it's it's not it. It's it's a small. It it's a cabin, but it's not a. Sh it's a shack. It's small, but it's not a sh de sh shrinking shack. Now ah, that's a tongue twister. All right. It could be down there. I just I I want to find the the ox head. Actually, I I do really want to find it. Oh, uh, wait, you what? <laughs> you used to be an aura, then you took an ex and a hex to the knee. All right, I see you, I see you, map developers, you, you dastardly, dastardly man. 
Now, one thing that I am still curious about is that we have a map marker for... We have a map marker for... For... Um, Azkaban, but I checked in at Grimwald Place and Alistair Moody does not take us back to to Azkaban. I don't know if there's anyone else that takes us there or if when I was there I somehow missed the I somehow missed the the location point or something. Oh, there's more Ogsmead around here. Ah, cool. There's another location I'd like to see explored in, in any sort of media. Ogsmead. Because for what we see of, of Ogsmead in the movies and even in the books, it's like Ogsmead is just a trading hub, like Diagon Alley's. But no, Ogsmead actually houses people. And some of the teachers of Hogwarts, I believe, actually do stay in Hogsmeade during the summer holidays. I know McGonagall had a house in Hogsmeade when she was married or to be married. Because she was engaged at a certain point with another wizard. Or, no. No, it was a muggle, wasn't it? She was... Ah, here's the Hogshead Inn. Ah, oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah, she she was engaged at a certain point. All right. I'm just imagine being this guy, and just a random shrimp wizard wanders into your shop, and first thing he does is he goes and rummages through your chest and just takes all your loot. Hello. Hmm. The Shrinking Shack. Well, thank goodness I want to go to the Shrinking Shack. I do want to go to the Shrinking Shack, so thank you. Okay, so we, she was not where I imagined her to be. She's actually just here. All right. <laughs> so that road must lead somewhere. Aha. Defeat Pol Poltergeists? Oh, come on. Oh, God, not poltergeists. Boom. Be gone. What is that? Okay. I'll be back. Just wait a bit. I want to know what this is. It's a road. I get that. But a road that leads where? Oh god, I have the attention span of a three-year-old. Like, maybe this is, yeah, this is the road I was looking at. Yeah, so, it takes me nowhere. I am back. Take a bombard. Oh, the bombarder doesn't reach. Alright, shrinking shack, here I go. She is not this big. At least not in the movies. Then again. The movies have quite a different rendition of this particular establishment than probably the books or other more canon media. Because the movies do take a lot of liberties. So... Oh. I don't know why I was half expecting, like, a sort of very shaggy rendition of a werewolf upstairs. I was half expecting that, I admit. But maybe there's something saved for me downstairs. Okay, so I de I'm dealing with the poltergeists. I don't know. Down here, this, this is the passage to the Whomping Willow. Oh, God. 
All right. Lumos at the ready. Oh God. Is there gonna be a jump scare here? Uh, are you guys gonna witness the first jump scare of this channel? And probably the only one because I I don't do horror games and I never will. But this is pretty spooky. I must admit. It's funny how we all think when we're reading Harry Potter, we all like to identify as Harry because he's the main character. I gotta be honest with you, I'm feeling very Ron Weasley at this point. Like very much Ronald Weasley. Like, oh god. What is down there? Don't tell me this has multiple paths. Oh, it probably does. Oh god. Don't take my light out. Oh. Okay. We've arrived somewhere. And I would say that this is the Whomping Willow. Yep. It is the Whomping Willow. Whomping Willow Passage. Now, I want to see where this fucking, where this freaking thing is, I'm so sorry. Where, oh come on, you're just there. Oh, I was here, how did I not? Also, you're very, very, I mean, I don't want to say any impressive, but I guess, I guess that would quantify it, I mean, as pretty, pretty and impressive, really. But alas, it's not a feasible representation. The real Whomping Willow is much, much worse. Now, I want to go back. And I want to see if we can find any secrets inside, any loot. Because, okay, the passage cuts and we're back at Hogsmeade. So there was this bridge here, oh, and there was this passage here, that keeps going down and down and down. Aha! Loot. Elixir of life. So yeah, as I was expecting, there are multiple passages here, in the Whopping Willow Passage. Also, I am aware that I probably just butchered the name a hundred times over the over the recording, but alas. Okay, I don't know if there's any more of these passages and secrets here. I'm just gonna try go back to Hogsmeade. Deal with, there is something here, so okay, no, it's just it's one of the, those things. You look there and you think, oh, there might be something here, but then you approach, and it, there's really nothing there, so. I think we might be back, exactly, we are back, I could just change the spell again to the Bombarda Maxima, let us try and deal with the poltergeists really quick before, before we finish with the episode, yeah I'll just whack you with my wand. Come on here. Yeah, you're not the only one who can fly, you bastard. Alright, where's the other one? I started whopping another one. Ah! Get over here. Nice. Okay, only two more. This one and that one. Alright, just stay there. Boom. You're looking for this, I was looking for this, and, ah, dash my buttons, alright, 
So just... Wait, also, there's something that I want to see. Ah. Okay, get over here. You're not hiding away from me. Ah! Alright, there's something I want to see. Now that I... And I promise I'll finish the episode right away. Okay, so... There's this head here. That's the, that's the, the head of a stag. Right. Where was another one of these plagues? Like, there was one downstairs, I think. Let's see what what animal that was. Okay, it's just a random... I thought, for some reason, that... Uh, this being here, I thought there would be other... Headstands of the other animals. Of the Marauders. And that would be like a hidden reference to the Marauders here. That would be sick. That would be really sick. Because they kind of did... They kind of made these... Their... Their base. While they were at Hogwarts. Especially after they found out Lupin's secret. I don't actually remember. When, when did they found... When did they find about... James's secret. But I guess that's not important for now, my dear friends, my dear viewers. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and if you'd be so kind, a subscribe would also be very much appreciated. I will hope to see you next time for some more Harry Potter in Minecraft, where we go and visit Malfoy Manor. I will see you then. Bye-bye.